Evening and thanks for joining us for Ted News at 6. I'm Jessica Jewell. A suspect is in custody after attacking hikers on the Appalachian Trail in southwest Virginia. Investigators shut down 16 miles of the trail from the partnership shelter in Sugar Grove to where the trail intersects with Highway 42 while crews search the crime scene. Ted News reporter Lindsay Kennett is in Wythe County with new breaking details. Investigators say a suspect attacked a man and a woman who were hiking on the trail together with a machete. Now the woman is OK, but police cannot comment on the man's condition. Tonight, that suspect is behind bars. A gruesome assault on the Appalachian Trail. Investigators say a suspect attacked a man and a woman with a machete while hiking the trail near Crawfish Road. Around 3.30 Saturday morning, Bland, Smith and Wythe County investigators were on high alert after hikers said a man threatened them. Soon after, that's when Wythe County Sheriff Keith Dunnigan says they got an SOS call from the male victim's phone. An SOS call that was sent from a phone and where they pinged it on Wythe County's side of the trail. So a phone company notified us and we went up there and that's where we located the suspect and the victim. We had, we had our whole TAC team up there, so he wisely just surrendered himself. Dunnigan says the woman escaped the attack and walked six miles injured and bleeding before finding other hikers and calling for help. In the search for the suspect, investigators learned he had approached a couple of campers sleeping in a tent who lent him a flashlight at 4 a.m. They were real reluctant to just talk to him. You know, they thought it was a little unusual. Didn't even see the person. And uh, luckily they didn't he come out of the tent. The suspect's name has not been released yet, but Dunnigan says federal charges have been filed, though his motive is still unclear. And why it happened, we have no idea. We're just glad that we got him in custody so that it can't happen. Investigators are still worried there could be more victims, so they're searching the trail. Reporting in Wythe County, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.